This nigga wanna talk about calling over the phone. I want that smoke for real. Hello? Yeah, like I said on the game, I want that smoke for real. What's up? What's up? I'm doing great. Now, now, what was you saying about what you were saying online about running that fade for real? You heard me, man. I'm not repeating myself. Run the fade for real. Run the fade for real. Don't play dumb. You know who this is. I know who the fuck you is, dude. So what's up? Run the fade for real. I'm not playing. Come on. Let's meet up in person so you can catch these hands. Shit, you in Mexico, dude. Yeah, truth or consequences, son. Son, I ain't nobody's son, dude. I'll fly to you. How about that? You the one that was talking about meeting up in real life, not me. Yeah, and I backed it up. Yeah, and I backed it up, son. So we gonna leave it at that. Don't ever disrespect me on this internet shit again, cause I run this shit, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. I'm Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the middleweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Hopkins is full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Teddy, keep it up all night long. I think he's going to have to. Good-looking combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. Commits to the straight right. Stephen Art Hopkins has been having those Philly gym wars for so many years now that it's just second nature to throw your punches in accurate combination form. Hopkins' right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is a sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, he steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. judges and himself with that right hand Bernard Hopkins going old school there B hop with the basic one two ten seconds to go in this round come to the end of the round here we go round two is underway D 
dismisses his opponent's headshot. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Leonard's well off the mark that time. Hopkins is scoring with that right hand. Leonard's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Halfway through round number two. Well played, straight right hand. Just like that! Just like that! <laughs> Targeted two punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Ten clicks of the talk. He is staggered and stumbling. End of this round. He can't use that. He clear his head and you tell him why he dropped. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Hopkins is coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is out, the cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor wavering a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. And now they're opening up. Both right hands land. Work the body, kid. It's okay, let's go. Nice two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. what he brings to the game he makes you miss he makes you pay and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on and start of round number four but an interesting fight so far sugar ray leonard's losing this fight one round to two but keep in mind the one round that he won he scored a knockdown he will in golf they say you have to have a short memory in boxing sometimes a long memory he must remember he can hurt him. He can get back in this. Come on, <laughs> nice strike after catching one by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Oh, 
damage. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Very well done by both men to fire off those right hands. That hook was well off the mark. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Bernard Hopkins' right hand scores well that time. More than one punch downstairs, that could be damaging. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good return fire that time. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round four. Leonard. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best. And both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Hopkins is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. He has found his groove with this right hand. He scores well up top. Up. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Sugar Ray Leonard's been hurt. And now a well-placed hook to the head. He turned things around. Wow! Wow, is this good stuff? What good stuff? He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. So Sugar Ray Leonard has to rise up and beat the count. Now he's got himself a little bit of a challenge here. And now what he's doing, he's going through a CAT scan, an MRI, an X-ray, where you're gonna get a chance to see what's inside Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not, it's not making the picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Hopkins has got to feel great right now. Start of this round, starts to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> other guy want to collect his bet? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Locked that away, it was targeted for his head. Leonard's known as a capable fighter, but right now he needs to be known as a fighter who can make adjustments. What's the one adjustment you want to see with him, Teddy? Keep his hands up. You know, he's so used to getting away with all that speed that he has. Pull back and stands down, you know. He's paying a price. He could get caught here all night long. You know, just keep your hands up. Lock some of those just coming down. Hopkins is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He is not in good shape. 
He could be on the deck in most. Big shot there. Once again, he goes down. Can he run stopper. The run stops here. Let's just get that situated. You've been left decimated out here, son. I made you look like a fool. Because you fight like a fool. It's over for you. Get up, bitch. Leonard's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Hopkins is fighting real smart here on the outside. Sugar Ray Leonard's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. It is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. He needs to slip to the left. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. It's okay. Pay him back. Hopkins is in control of this fight. Why? When he He's in better shape. Well, he was in control a couple months ago. I don't care what your record looks like. And he made the decision. The choice. But this is what happens when you get in the ring with a man of real skill. Okay. Not the bullshit that you're doing. Hey, shut the fuck up, nigga. Shut the fuck up. We got the bigger fighters. And you want to talk some shit, bitch. Yeah, because I'm one of your punk ass. You got the bigger fighter, motherfucker. You got the higher rated fighter. Stop making excuses and just admit the fact that you suck. No, one point, mother... One motherfucking point. He a 92. So, so, so what you're saying down, is, is you're losing with a better fighter. So, you know boxing, motherfucker. I know boxing enough to know that I've been whooping your ass, bitch. Look at you. Hey, 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 you, hey, you get him, and I use this with that's who you win, motherfucker, because you ain't shit. No, no, I ain't doing that unless we rematch it for money. Yeah, we can fight for money. Put fifty dollars on the line and I'll pick whoever you want me to pick. How about that? Shut the fuck up. Nigga, that's why you get your ass right Oh, real original. Real original. Shut up. That's why you get wool. The reason why you losing is because you know nothing about boxing. Plus he gives his opponent such angles. He where where would you meet at? We can take this shit off the internet, bitch. Hey, hey, nigga, hey, I, hey. I'll whoop your motherfucking down. ass for real and I'll choke your punk ass out, bitch. Hey, 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 text me your number, bitch. Hey, text me your number and I'll call you and we can meet up some goddamn well. There's no other way to really that, say it. Meet me in Truth the Consequences, New Mexico, so I can bitch. Away from I yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with. Oh, look at you. Oh, now you're trying to. Now you're. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. You text me your number. I don't call you. You call me. There he is, working the body. I wish your bitch ass. Shut up, bitch. Why you getting knocked the fuck up, bitch? You shut up, faggot. Hey, your mama's come suck my dick. Hey, say, you see what up. Do when he sends that nah, I can't wait to beat your ass in real up, life, bitch. Hey, I'm six foot mama, seven, bitch. 325 pounds of all oh, muscle. Oh, oh, man, 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 bitch. Oh, man. And now he that scores well with the string right. Is. Is. Nope. Look, Look at my speed, nigga. Fuck you. Oh, somebody's crying. Get the fuck out of your feelings. Go do something with yourself, bitch. Yeah, and I'm the greatest internet thug of all time. All right? Come see me then. Truth the Consequences, New Mexico. Meet me tomorrow. New Mexico? Bro. Yeah. Okay? Don't walk into it when I'm throwing a punch. I'm telling you right here, right now, where I'm at. I'm in truth and consequences. Come see me at the desert. Meet me at the city limit. At high noon, bitch. So seven rounds are in the So I'm just dominating your bitch ass every round. I don't care. In one man's favor. 
Hopkins has been on top of this all night long. But here's the good news. He still looks as fresh as could be. Bitch. He hasn't worn himself out at all. This is one of those mama, 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 workouts mama, coming. Mama, you know, you hated him when you were doing them, but now they're paying off for you. Leonard's got those earmuffs on. He's got his hands tight against his body. But Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe. You know, and the, the weather's a little bad. And you say, I, I want to be safe. Look at you. Stop the car. You don't stop Look at them spaghetti arm punch. You think that shit hurts? Cars are coming. I mean, nah, they're I'm mean right there in the middle of the highway. Then why are you throwing them there? Oh, you, so that's not going to happen. I'm not the one fighting Ty. Bernard Hopkins. I'm not that either, together now. That's a nice you sure about that? Come on. Tried to land that upstairs. That's just power is absolute, bitch. A piercing uppercut by Sugar Ray Leonard. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Bitch. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. A little volume punching to the body there. Over here complaining about size. You got the speed advantage. It's not my fault you don't know how to use this speed. You make me shut the fuck up, bitch. Right back at him with a left hand. Sit your ass down, bitch. Now you gonna be sucking my dick. Get the fuck up out of here, bitch. Yeah. You over here talking all that wolf shit online. Wait till I see you in person. That way I'm gonna for real, bitch. Come see me, bitch. I'm in truth and consequences, New Mexico, flaming. Run stopper, I'm gonna stop you for real. You don't wanna fuck with me. I'm the manliest man on the internet. I'm a motherfucking dog.